Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K-E-S-H-W-A-N-I, Keshwani. We are here because we want to prepare for the GRE. We have been solving GRE math questions out of this book here. The official guide to the GRE, the revised general test. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need it. The problems that we are about to solve are the one that you will find on page number 220. 220 and today's are lesson number 89. Lesson number 89. Let's take a look at it. The very first problem we want to solve is number 10. Question number 10. I'm going to read it to you first. Make sure that you have the, that you have the book in front of you and read it with me. It says, a person's salary is increased from 200 a week to 334 a week. So, it goes up from 200 to 234. What was the percentage increase in per persons? What was the percentage increase? in person salary. This question has to do with percentage change. A percentage change, percentage change is, this is how we calculate it, is change, this delta means change, over the original number or the initial number, original, original quantity or initial quantity if you like, initial number times 100. Let's put, put there, instead of putting delta, let's put here change, whatever the change was, this is it. And how do you figure out the change? Percentage change is you take your new number minus the old number that is the change. New number minus the old number divided by the old number. Why do we divide by the old number, the initial number, the beginning number, the original number? Because that is our point of reference. What we start out with is our point of reference, not what we end up with. What we start out with is the point of reference times 100. So our new number here is 234. Our old number, we went from 200 to 234. Our old number is 200. So that's our change. That's our change divided by the original number, 200 times 100. We do this times 100 because we're talking about percentage change. Because we're talking about percentage change, you see? Right here, percentage change. Which makes perfect sense because you ask yourself if you went from 200 to 34, what was the change? From 200 to 34, the change was 34. And you ask yourself, 34 is what percentage of 200? So you divide 34 by 200 and you multiply it by 100 because it's a percentage, otherwise you're going to end up with a decimal answer. That's it, we're done. That's our answer. Very simple, very straightforward. If you divide top and bottom by 100, if you divide top and bottom by 100, two zeros drop out. Divide top and bottom by 2, how many 2's in a 3? There are 1 2's in a 3. The remaining one goes and joins this guy, becomes 14. How many 2's in a 14? There are 7 of them. The answer is 17. The answer is 17%. Answer is 17 percent. That's about it. Which makes sense if you think about it. It makes sense because 17 percent, 17 percent of 100, 17 percent of 100 is 17. We have initial number was not 100, it was 200. So 17 percent of 200, 17 percent of 200. 17% of 200 must be 17 times 2 because 17% of 100 is 17. But so that, is our, that is exactly our change. Our change was 34. 234 minus 200, the change is 34, which is what it is. 34, 34 represents 17% of 200. Question was, what was the percent of change? It is 17%. This is the next one, number 11. Number 11. Number 11 says, our athlete's weight decreased from 160 to 152. From 160 to 162. 160 to 152. 
went down from from 160 to 152 question is what's the percentage decrease what's the percentage decrease what is the change here from what we went down from 160 to 152 the percentage change is negative 8 the negative part tells you that we're going down percentage change is negative 8 question simply is so this is our change the question simply is 8 is what percent of our original number which was 160 8 is what percent of original number well here's our here's our here's our chart we're going to follow this thing 8 is means equal what means the unknown percent means over 100 of means times 160 that's it then we just have to solve for x that's all where did I put the cap we just have to solve for x multiply both sides by 200 uh, sorry 100 and that will get rid of this 100 divide both sides by 160 and that will get rid of this 160 so our x is our x is equal to 100 times 8 over 160 let's simplify it divide top and bottom by 10 so it drops out the 0 divide top and bottom by 8 this 8 drops out and 16 becomes 2 divide top and bottom by 2 again and 10 becomes 5 and the answer is that's it x equals 5 so the question was 8 is what percent of 160 we just found out the answer is 5 what we're claiming is that 8 is what we're claiming is that 8 is 5% of 160 8 is 5% of 160 and if you think about it it makes sense because we know because we know because we know that 10% of 160 is 16 therefore 5% would have to be half of 16 which is 8 that's it that's all for today I will see you tomorrow, okay? Bye now.